Hey there you guys, I hope you're doing great. So this thing is really freaking awesome and I just put on some fenders because it's really nasty out now. I'm at Klotzbro, there's a downhill park. Nico Willis signature Got the 140 millimeter, so this is a really nice upgrade to my Cube Acid Hybrid one. And with the rear shock, we can really have a more comfortable ride. And the engine is actually surprisingly more powerful than the Bosch Active Line Plus. This is a Yamaha PWE. I think the Bosch has 50 Newton meter, and this, I'm not sure if it has 65 or 90. It feels more like, yeah, more like 90 or 80. I think 90 is maybe the PWX got 11 sprockets in the back so really nice climbing gear there and here's the display so you just turn it on there and you have walk assist here's high standard eco eco plus and off the battery percentage rpms average speed max speed and trip and it's all gone 42 kilometers, so it's a brand new and it's a 2017 year model by the way Somebody has crashed with this thing They said it was a demo bike at the store They, they were gonna stop selling bikes, so I got it so cheaply So it's a little bit weird than the Bosch. The Bosch is better when you stop pedaling it stops immediately This thing kind of keeps on pedaling a bit or the motor keeps on after I've stopped Which is kind of scary it's kind of scary, but it, it, it's still a lot nicer machine, got a lot more power. And I also like a little bit that the engine is keep going, because uh, you can like just pedal a little bit and it gives you a nice boost of power to get over a, a rock or something, you know. Oh, nice, man, it's got so nice suspension. Not sure how I'm gonna get down here. It's freaking insane, this. Uh, so now we're climbing up here, no problems, so easy. And I've set the engine to high now, so you know, got loads of power. Where is the track? I saw it somewhere here before. Ah, oh, down there it is. But how do you get there? I'm so confused right now. Let's check out the walk assist. So now I'm just pushing the bottom, <laughs> and it goes forward. I don't have to push it. The higher gear I have, the better the walk assist. Oh wow, check out this view. How am I gonna get down from here? Oh, here I can see they've gone down. That looks incredibly scary. But let's do it, I need to lower the seat. Oh, and the gearing is different on this bike. You push here for up, not this way. So this is a lot better because you can lean back and you can gear without having to Take your hand forwards. Wish me luck. Oh shit. Oh man, no, this is too steep. Ah, I'm gonna fall over here. Just one slip and I'm done. How, how do they do this fast? How the heck? Oh, something like this. Power. It's not even using full engine power. Sometimes it's almost using full engine power. Oh, slippery here. And it's, it revs out quite quite much. That's the only bad thing. I think the new, the new Yamaha. So you see how nice this is? I don't have, I don't have to pay for lift car. This I could not do with the Bosch. I'm still getting a little bit of workout. Man, it's so nasty. I'm getting mud thrown onto my legs. Oh yeah, so it revs out. I was gonna say that, it revs out really quickly, the engine.
Oh, it's so nice. I'm not even struggling here. And the, the engine, as you can see, it's not struggling as, as well. Let's even go faster. I'm going in 13, 14 kilometers an hour up here. I'm not even struggling. Wow. I'm so happy that I bought this bike instead of keeping the acid. We made it! Oh crap. This thing, I mean, I'm totally blown away. I've never driven a real, a real all mountain bike. <laughs> it basically feels like a motocross with the rear full or full suspension 140 millimeter travel. And I can just grips anywhere. It's so much fun. Okay, now I lost speed here. But we'll see if I can make it like this. High gear. Uh, I don't even have turbo mode. Uh, I don't know if you can see how steep this hill is. But it's, this doesn't look so steep on the camera. But it is. It's quite nice shifting gears when it just eases off the power so smoothly and it never jumps out of... Well, I don't know how many millimeters that is 27.5 inch wheels still goes over that when I sit on the bike it scratches there I managed to fix all the noises by the way so the bike is quieter, just have to tighten some screws. 